Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my channel update for the month of May 2021. I like to do these little updates because they're a way for me to thank you all for all of the support that I've been getting. And it's also a way for me to thank everybody for the support and donations I've been getting on Patreon as well, which I feel I don't get enough of an opportunity to do so. Before I jump into plans of what we've got going forward with the month of May, I'll just go over how much the channel has grown in April. We gained 1,136 new subscribers. There was 5,350 likes across all videos and 102 dislikes. So thank you for all of the interaction across the channel on all the videos, whether it's a like, a comment or a subscribe. It all helps a small channel like myself grow. And it also indicates to myself that I must be doing something right. So one of the things that has happened in the month of April is Subnautica went free to play on PlayStation. And because of that, my beginner's guide to Subnautica has actually got a few hits now. And of course, from that, some of you have also checked out the playthrough that I've done of it. And I'm really pleased that that's starting to get a few views now because I absolutely love Subnautica. Now, in my playthrough, I didn't actually use any of the music from Subnautica, and I suppose if those of you are familiar with my playthroughs, you'll know that I tend to add my own sound and music, and it's what adds a real cinematic effect to any of the games I'm playing. But when it came to Subnautica, it was really hard to cut that music out of the game. I know I've done a fan-made remix of a couple of the tracks that were in the original Subnautica, but one of the things that gave it its vibe was its music and the sound, and it just... It's what really adds to the cinematic effect, and I think a few games developers really should take note of Subnautica because it really draws you in on another level. When you go into another biome and you hear one of these creatures, it really does add so much to the immersion in the game. And on the 30th of April, they released the whole album for the new game. So if you've bought the game on Early Access on Steam, you can now download it separately as well. So I highly suggest you go and do that because I've had it on over the weekend. And just check this out. This is just one of the tracks. I'm just going to play you 30 seconds of one of my favorite tracks, but the whole album is absolutely fantastic. Check this out. Now Below Zero is going to be released on all formats including Nintendo Switch on the 14th of May. So when it comes to Subnautica 2, being that I haven't played through the whole game, I was wondering whether to present it in a whole different style and actually hook up a camera so you could actually get some reactions to it because there is some jump scares in it and perhaps actually doing that let's play completely differently but let me know down below if you think I should be tackling Subnautica with a camera on and doing a line blinds let's play or perhaps whether I should actually complete the game off camera first and do it like I did the last time and add my own music to it I'm kind of in a little bit of two minds as to how to go about presenting Below Zero on the channel all I know is I would love to do it but I'm not going to be able to get it done in the month of May Moving on to Valheim as well, a game I absolutely love Valheim and at the time when I released my first video there wasn't really many YouTube creators doing much with Valheim and now it really has got a lot of love behind it. I'm just checking out the latest post from the development team over at Iron Gate Studios and it says that they're all still working from home but they are looking for a real studio to go in so it might be a little bit of time before we actually catch the first update which would be Home and Halfstead. So I will be creeping back to Valheim from time to time. I know we've got to go into the swamp biome, but the game is not finished yet and there will be a lot of changes. And one of the main reasons I wanted to bring it to the channel was just to draw some focus on that game. It was just a little indie, undiscovered game at the time when I did the first video. And uh, I know a few of you since then have picked it up and it really does deserve a little bit of a play. 
Now, one of the things that's held me up this month is we've started a new server over on my Discord. We've, of course, started the Ragnarok playthrough. Now, I wanted to do this. I've always had a community server, and it's just that I don't get to use it very often. So this is a way for me to bring you some more guides and just playing game as well at the same time with you guys. So I'm really enjoying Ragnarok, and I think in the month of May, we're probably going to be doing one of the events, something similar to what I've done in the past with the old servers, but we're going to do something special for the community over there and do some sort of event, I hope. Now, Ragnarok has certainly not taken over me doing the complete series or anything else but of course one of the reasons why I wanted to be able to play on the server and on Ragnarok is to be able to do some more guides and tutorials and just hints and tips videos which is how most of you discover my content in the first place so Ragnarok is not one of the complete series but we're having lots of fun on the community server there and uh, I'm just enjoying it with everybody else at the moment. Now, of course, on the 26th of May, Genesis Part 2 comes out. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to start Aberration. As soon as Genesis Part 2 comes out, I don't want to have started Aberration only to stop it because I am going to be covering what's coming out in Genesis 2. There's a lot of new mechanics that are going to come into the game and I need to be able to check them out and I want to bring them and highlight them to all of you guys so aberration has gone on the back burner and it's not because i don't want to do aberration i've already done a cut of the intro for part one and i can't wait to premiere part one but it's going to have to wait because I don't want to start and stop it. So we're not going to see Aberration in the month of May. Now last month I did want to put out a guide on my single player settings. So I'm going to be returning to that and hopefully getting a guide out on the single player settings that I'm going to be using for Aberration as we continue. And as well I would like to do a guide on setting up a server for yourself and your friends. I'll be going through some of the settings and how I've set up my server. And we did have quite a few members of the team over on the discord helping me out testing things and balancing all of the settings what i wanted to go for was much more of a casual gameplay and uh, i think we found a really really good balance on the server so i'm going to be doing another guide on how to set up a multiplayer server and a single player session so keep your eye out for some more content on the server. If you haven't already done so, then check out my video on how to tame a dragon. Like I say, I worked really hard on the intros and some of the cinematic feel to that video. At the same time as making it informative and teaching you a couple of tricks. I just wanted to play around and uh, it, I, it ended up turning into something that took me a few days to put together when it was only supposed to be one of these things where I record it one day and edit the next. It ended up to be recorded over three days and uh, edited over three days or something daft like that. But yeah, sometimes I get carried away with them projects and I'm particularly proud of that one. So if you haven't already seen it, go and check it out. Again, a massive thank you to everybody on the patron side of things. But I think that pretty much covers it for this update. Of course, looking forward to Genesis Part 2 towards the end of the month and expect lots of art content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.